Hi, this is John Wood from Automatech. Previously, we had a little look at the rule tree editor, so we just saw what um, what information or what labels will be displayed for what type of commands in the program and, and how that worked. And I mentioned this time we were going to have a, a quick go at uh, creating our own label template for comments. Okay, so if we just say file reporting new label template. Okay, so this is our, our canvas, if you like, for the label template, and we're going to use a grid control object. So if I just click on that, now I just want a single cell, so I'm not going to make it too big to start with. And then once it's on the page, I can just use the, the grab handles to make it the right sort of size. Um, so actually, I want this to match up with the other uh, items on the page, the other controls on the on the report so if I just open up the file header then we can take the sizes from that so the single click on the grid control object for the file header right click to bring the properties up and I can see that the right to left is 9 and right is 709 I'm just going to flip back to our label and again right click to bring up the properties and let's put the left at 9 and the right at 709. So this just means it matches up and is the, uh, the, same, the same width as the other items on the report. Okay. So we're going to add up some text in here, uh, a command that will extract the information from from the comment. So to find out the information we need to put in here, if I come over to my program in command mode and right click and just make sure the change pop-up display is on data type information, which it is. Then if I just hover the mouse over the the, the comment text if you like, uh, that displays the information for that comment type, uh, sorry for that data type, so we've got comment underscore field, so it's this value in, in brackets, uh, which is is what we need to, to use. So I'll flip back to the label template editor, uh, I'm just going to double click because of the highlighted thick border, and then if I right click, then the cell expression goes in here. And because it's a data type, we just proceed it with an equal sign. Uh, let's put the comment field in there. Just word of warning, these are case sensitive. Uh, also here, we can adjust the appearance of it. So I'm just going to pick the, uh, the font. And let's go for Century Gothic, go size 10 bold, and OK on that. And, and let's make it century aligned as well. So if I just apply all that, say OK, then when I click out of here, uh, it should display the dummy text, which for a comment is please edit comment text. So I'm just going to adjust the the height of that as well, I don't want it too big. Okay, so if I'm happy with that, I'm going to save it. Let's just call it com, com lab. Click save. It already exists here, yeah, I've got another one, but I'll just overwrite it. So, yes. And it tells us it's not specified the command types this template is designed to use. So, when you create a label, you, you you define which type of command it's going to work with. So I'll just say yes on that. And we just want to find in here comment, which is in miscellaneous. Okay. And I'm just going to resave that. Okay. So there we've designed our new label. So all we need to do now is edit the report template and the rule tree 
to make it use this label for columns. So, right. We'll file reporting, edit, report template, open up the text in the report. So again, we've got this uh, this text report object here. So just select that, right click to bring up properties, and in the rule tree, I just need to find common command, which again is under miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, oh, there it is. And we're going to add a rule and say for comments use a label template and we're just going to select the label we just made com lab. Open that up. Okay. So you can see the rule for comments is now defined. Say OK on that. Make sure we save the report. And now when we click back to the, uh, the report window and refresh the report, we can now see our label is being displayed. Now there is a slight problem with this and I'm going to show you what that is. If our comment in our program runs to more than one line, Okay, when I refresh this, okay, it's not pulling in that second line. So we need to make a slight modification to uh, to our label to get it to, to do that. So if I come back up to the label template editor, there's two things we need to do. Uh, we need to Go back into the grid properties and on the row tab we're going to put uh, repeat repeating group and we need to uh, give it an expression. Uh, so what we're going to say is this is the the count of the Comment field. Um, now uh, I'm not sure if this needs to be in, in speech marks. I'll try it without to start. We'll see if it works. Okay. And over on the cell tab, where we've got our expression equals comment field, we we'll just have to put colon n. It's like the that's the count if you like. That's uh, that's the expression here. So uh, that didn't take so. Let's just say the count comment field apply that apply that and OK. So now if I just save that and look back to our report window refresh there we go so it's now counting how many fields are in that comment how many uh, comment fields are in that comment and it's repeating that row and the the end just gives it a one or a two or three for how many lines are in there okay so you can obviously change the, the appearance of this as, as you like um, yeah, so we've got a, a simple label comment. Thank you for watching.